Hey there guys, how's it going? My name is Chris and I am a full-time digital marketer. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the verification process in, in Google Search Console. That was a mouthful to say. So verifying ownership of your Google Search Console account. And uh, I recently did a video on how to set up the Google Search Console and I got a lot of questions regarding this. So what we want to do here is we want to, uh, now that we've set up Google Search Console, we need to verify or uh, approve the verification of ownership of our website. So let's just start from over from the beginning. What we want to do here is we, if we're in Google Search Console, we want to go up over here in the left-hand corner at the top, and we want to click on Add Property. And again, um, if you're working in a, in a WordPress website, what I advise you to do, um, because there's a couple different ways to do this. It's it's way easy if you're in a WordPress website. I'm going to show you a quick trick here. Um, and by the way, once you have for the first step to adding this property is what you want to do is you want to come over here and add the website. HTTPS. Uh, I'm going to do my agency website today just as fun. Minmedia.agency.com or not. It's just dot agency. I don't know what I'm thinking. I then click continue. And, um, what you have to do is, um, if, first of all, I want to talk about what you want to do if it is a WordPress website, because this is the easiest part. And what I'm going to do is bring up the WordPress website. Um, and please bear with me. I am streaming this. So what I, what you want to do is you want to go into the plugin section of your WordPress website. It's on the left-hand side here and you want to click add new. And what we're going to do is we're going to type in here, uh, Google search console. Google search console, and it's going to show you, you can use this site kit by Google. You can use this search engine insights for Google, uh, Google search console. I'm going to, I'm going to install this one here, the search engine insight one, because this is uh, super easy to use. And all you do is activate it and then uh, come over here to the left-hand column at the very bottom. That's where the, the plugin comes. Click on setup. <clears throat> and what you want to do is uh, you essentially want to click on authorize plugin. And then this is going to ask you what Google account you want to choose. I have a ton of them. And then it's going to tell you it's going to create a new property for you and click those click continue. It's probably going to tell me I already have one because I already have it set up and um. It works really well, guys. See, it's already it's already verified and it's created. So that's one super easy way to do it. Um, just to like just to backtrack this in case you're not um in case you're not using WordPress, we're gonna do another method here. So as as said before here, if we go back to the um it's Google Search Console, please bear with me. Um, it's gonna tell us we need to verify this as HTML method. So then click on go to property and yeah, let me see here a second. Um, again here. Um, so what you want to do is, um, it, since this already has an entity, it's kind of getting uh, confusing. So what you want to do is you want to click on add property. This is it right here. And it's going to tell you that you need to verify this somehow. And you can do a text or you can do a C name. The text is the one that's preferred by a lot of people. And what you want to do, copy text below. Um, there's a there's a there's multiple ways to do this. You can put this in the DNS or uh, click remove property here. I'm just going to show you the other method. So what you can do here is we can go try to add it again, and we can try this way as well mollyfish.com this is just an example um verifying property oh that was the same way we did it um what we want to do here is go like this https https colon mollyfish.com see it, it, there's multiple methods to verify this that you own the website and it's just a matter of you know if you choose to do which method you choose to do if you have a wordpress website use the plugin though honestly Okay, this one says upload HTML file. This one's super easy to do. Um, HTML tag. This one's really easy to do. Let's do this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this. And it says to put this code in the heading section of your website. So what we're going to do is I'm going to stop this and then go back over to the WordPress. 
Sorry, guys. Um, I do live stream a lot of this stuff. So, so what we want to do is we want to get ourselves um, a plugin that allows us to add things um, to the heading. So, type in when you're searching for here's the, here it is WP Code. Type in that because there's a plugin called WP Code. So click install now, and then we're going to activate it. So please bear with me. And um, how do we find this? Oh, it's at the very bottom. <clears throat> After you've activated it, this plugin is at the very bottom left-hand corner. It says code snippet. Click on header and footer. And then what we're going to do, it, because it said to put this code in the heading section. So paste that code in the heading section and then click save changes and then there it is and then you're going to go back to to google search console and then you're going to verify it essentially so and again um yes please bear with me guys here it is and then you're going to click on verify and then it should work um i'm not doing this just because this is all like a setup process and i'm just trying to like help you guys learn but as you can see, there's like five different ways to, to do the verification of your Google Search Console of the ownership that you have ownership. Because what Google wants to do is they want to prove that you actually own this entity because they're giving you lots of extremely important, valuable information. And again, once you're in the Google Search Console, here's an example of all the things you can look at. So we're going to go to this website. This is kind of just like a niche website that I have on Aquarium Fish. And this is, uh, it's called guppyfish.com. If we click on performance, this is going to tell us lots of information. It's going to tell us it got 47 clicks yesterday. It's going to tell us the impressions. It's going to tell us uh, what search phrases you rank for in Google, which is huge. I mean, that's, that's valuable information to know. It's going to tell you what devices the people were on, what countries the people were coming from. So as you can see, this is very valuable information. So you're going to want to make sure that you set up Google Search Console because it's extremely helpful. It's a, it's a it's a super valuable marketing tool and we set it up on every website to just show businesses what's happening on their website. That Google Search Console, Google Analytics, those two are extremely important in webmaster tools. So, um guys, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section, but hopefully this video helped you learn how to verify your Google Search Console account and verify the ownership. So, I guess without further ado, um, I will see you in the next video. And if you want to hire me for any reason, um, I'm just a real dude that is obsessed with digital marketing. I'll throw a link to my agency in the description box. So I will see you in the next one.